Hello everybody, welcome to another review. This is my cousin Rachel, 1952. Gave this movie a rating of 10 and I saw it in 2017. As both films are based on Daphne de Maurier's novels, I prefer My Cousin Rachel over Rebecca. Taking place at a lonely, sumptuous looking house against the seascape, both stories are similar, having the same taunting tone and gothic style, but with a different kind of acting. Richard Burton's and Lawrence Oliver's. One is rough, the other is smooth. One is fiery, the other is melancholic. <clears throat> One is born a movie star, the other is a theater star who is trained to become a movie star. Making his debut in a Hollywood film, Richard Burton steals the show from start to finish. He is simply brilliant and impossible to overlook. Mad, bad, and dangerous to know. Richard would have made a very good Heathcliff. For his efforts, Richard Burton was rewarded with an Oscar nomination for a first of seven. Strangely, this one was for Best Supporting Actor. Really. Um, <clears throat> he was almost in every scene of the movie, having pretty much led the show. Richard's co-star, Olivia de Havilland, is just perfect. The kind of woman you wouldn't accuse of anything because of her face. She's able to match Richard Burton scene for scene that's much like swordplay, a hard thrust by Burton and a soft parry by Havilland over and over. Interestingly, Vivian Lee was first offered the role of Rachel Ashley but turned it down. Who knows how well she might have pulled it off. <clears throat> the dark brooding atmosphere of My Cousin Rachel is beautifully set up. It's very hard to find films like this. At best, My Cousin Rachel is a gothic picture that follows the same tradition of withering heights. Even the ending is an open-ended cliffhanger, which basically suggests that Philip Ashley didn't believe her cousin to be a schemer. But one thing is for sure. <clears throat> Whatever you do, just stay away from Tissane. All in all, acting is definitely for the first order in My Cousin Rachel. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time for another review. Bye.